And I know that most people uh, think stuff like this. That's why I'm going to show y'all a piece of it. Yeah, but yeah, that nigga, yeah, if I can get somebody to do it right now for that nigga, and I know it wouldn't come back to us like I would. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to outside of the country, Jamaica, Trump, and they have some other one. We got to tell, I would get done tonight. But I would pay extra for that nigga. I'd pay 50, 60K to get that nigga out of here. And I got, like, everybody. That was about Patrick, but, yeah. Got the one about Sharia. I got the one about Derricka. Mine, please. And I'm also going ahead and posting this, and I don't feel bad about it because you chose to make a long comment about the reason why you're not taking your name off the house. So, yeah, I'm going to post this, and you know what I'm saying? And, like, literally, Ashley didn't talk to me about this. Like, all you had to do would say, okay, Olivia, me and your mama not going to be on the house. And I could have agreed or disagree. You didn't have that conversation with me. And quit saying my mama signed something. My mama didn't sign nothing. My mama literally did not pick up a pen, y'all. She was waiting on something to come in the mail for her signature to go on. She didn't sign nothing. And we were all confused about that. We was talking about that at her house. Like, mama, why you, like, what, what happened at that signing place? Like, why did we even go? Because when we talked to Ashley, Ashley was like, come on, y'all, follow us to this, um, to the signing office. Let's go to the office so she can sign and woo-woo. But my mama never touched a pen. I got text messages and everything of me telling Ashley. Like, my mama said she didn't sign shit. She was waiting to sign something that she never was able to. My mama didn't, like, she said Josh and Ashley was reading them papers and Josh was signing. Ashley was, I don't know what was going on, but, like... She didn't touch that motherfucking pen. Josh was signing every fucking thing. Now, I wasn't going to speak on this situation because uh, obviously the FBI is involved. But yeah, I'm going to speak on it because like why y'all keep tagging me, inboxing me, and tagging, you know, talking about my husband. Yeah, I wasn't going to speak on it because like I'm not one of those people that have to talk about other people for attention. That's not me. Never been me. Ashley is the one that contacted the FBI, y'all. So like she know about all of this. She contacted them because she didn't want to take her name off my mama house. I know this sounds crazy, yeah. You know, Ashley bought my mama house and her name is on it, along with my mother's, but her name is on it. We never discussed it. We never uh, talked about that prior to or afterwards. The only way, the only reason we talked about it is because the Facebook shit in a group and everybody exposing her and they finding out that her name was on the house. That's the only reason why we ended up having a conversation about it. I'm gonna tell y'all how that went. Now, the group, I think, was created. Well, I don't know when that group was created, but everything hit the fan, like, around August the 26th, which is, I think, the same day Ashley was blocked from Facebook. But anyway, when everything was going on, um, and they was talking about my mama's house and her name being on all of this, Ashley ended up FaceTiming me. So when she FaceTimed me and asked me and um, asked to fly us out to Dallas, I was thinking she wanted to talk about the house, really. I'm thinking, okay, now, finally, they put a battery pack in her to say something about this house, because let me rewind we found out me my mama my sister and we found out that ashley name was on the house before the internet we found out like a month before it blew up on facebook so when she said she wanted to fly us out to dallas i was originally thinking like okay she getting us out here so she can talk about this house and she, she can tell me why her name was on the house and she can you know get ready to make arrangements to take her name off but when we got out there, baby, no, that ain't what Ashley wanted to talk about. Ashley wanted to talk about having us kill people for her. So you know what I did? I went along. Guess what I told her? I said, you know what? When we leave here, we can talk on FaceTime because they don't track those. They don't trace those, none of that. We can talk on FaceTime about this. Because I see now that, hoe, you're not a friend to me. You ain't nothing to me if you asking me to put me and my husband life in, at risk, in danger. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? She contacted the FBI and said, we were trying to extort her because I asked her, are you going to take your name off my mama's house? Because you bought my mama's house. When you give somebody something, your name is not supposed to be on it. Now, and I know y'all probably like, what? You mean to tell me like none of this when it came to the light? If Ashley would have just taken her name off the house, you damn right. It wouldn't have came. No, because I wouldn't have gave a fuck. Like, I didn't care. I didn't contact the FBI. I wasn't going to say nothing about this shit. It's just the whole point, like, she went to the FBI because she didn't want to take her name off the house. Like, what was the point of that? How did I know she went to the FBI? She told me. That was her way of trying to silence me. 
Like, I don't know what you're going to do with those videos, but they said... It's extortion if they get posted. It's extortion if you sell them. It's extortion if anybody get a hold. So I'm like, that's the type of shit she was texting me like I'm fucking stupid. Bitch, I know what extortion is. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? So I'm like, okay, now you now, now you trying to silence me. You making me want to go on here and post these motherfucking videos. But I didn't I still ain't did that. Cause like this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Like, I'm not the only type of timing. The only reason why I'm making these videos is to the only reason why I recorded her. For me and my husband's security, our safety, that's it. You're not finna have me in jail or him in jail off these fucking lies that y'all on here putting on me. Like, I even inboxed a TikToker. Essence, Sheree, I don't know. Like, I inboxed her. I told her, I was like, it was us that she contacted. You good, you safe, you ain't gotta be scared, you ain't gotta be paranoid. It was us. I told her that earlier today, just so she won't be worried. I'm like, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. We was never gonna do nothing to nobody. I only had Ashley faded, so I got home and I could record the FaceTime call. Cause like, I'm automatically knowing like, oh, okay, ho, you don't fuck with me. Like, you don't fuck with me at all if you asking me this. Like, this, 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 where my mind went. I'm like, oh, like, that was my confirmation. I already kind of knew it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Even with the house shit, I'm like, oh, like, this one genuine because your name on it. Like, why the fuck your name on it? It's a gift. Like, anything that I give somebody is theirs to have. I don't want no dealings with it. I don't want to be associated with it. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? So, the house shit had me fucked up in here anyway, but I had to go on here and play. Like, okay, let me play along with this shit so I can let this hoe know. Like, bitch, I know what's up with you. Like, you're not straight. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, none of this wouldn't have happened. None of this shit wouldn't have came out if she just would have take her name off the house and she contacted the FBI. So that's why all the shit blew up. I had we I had to go talk to them too. So yeah. They know about the videos and all that. And I know y'all probably like, what? You mean to tell me like none of this when it came to the light? If Ashley would have just taken her name off the house, you damn right. It wouldn't came. No, because I wouldn't gave a fuck. Like I didn't care. I didn't contact the FBI. I wasn't gonna say nothing about this shit. It's just the whole point, like, she went to the LBI because she didn't want to take her name off the house. Like, what was the point of that? How did I know she went to the LBI? She told me. That was her way of trying to silence me. Like, I don't know what you're going to do with those videos, but they said... It's extortion if they get posted. It's extortion if you sell them. It's extortion if anybody get a hold. So I'm like, that's the type of shit she was texting me like I'm fucking stupid. Bitch, I know what extortion is. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? So I'm like, okay, now you now, now you trying to silence me. You making me want to go on here and post these motherfucking videos. But I didn't. I still ain't did that. Because like, this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Like, I'm not the only type of timing. The only reason why I'm making these videos is to... The only reason why I recorded her. For me and my husband's security, our safety, that's it. You're not finna have me in jail or him in jail off these fucking lies that y'all on here putting on me. Like, I even inboxed a TikToker. Essence, Sheree, I don't know. Like, I inboxed her. I told her, I was like, it was us that she contacted. You good, you safe, you ain't gotta be scared, you ain't gotta be paranoid. It was us. I told her that earlier today, just so she won't be worried. I'm like, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. We was never gonna do nothing to nobody. I only had Ashley faded, so I got home and I could record the FaceTime call. Cause like, I'm automatically knowing like, oh, okay, ho, you don't fuck with me. Like, you don't fuck with me at all if you asking me this. Like, this, 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 where my mind went. I'm like, oh, like, that was my confirmation. I already kind of knew it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Even with the house shit, I'm like, oh, like, this one genuine because your name on it. Like, why the fuck your name on it? It's a gift. Like, anything that I give somebody is theirs to have. I don't want no dealings with it. I don't want to be associated with it. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? So, the house shit had me fucked up in here anyway, but I had to go on here and play. Like, okay, let me play along with this shit so I can let this hoe know. Like, bitch, I know what's up with you. Like, you're not straight. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, none of this wouldn't happen. None of this shit wouldn't came out if she just would have take her name off the house and she contacted the FBI. So that's why all the shit blew up. I had we I had to go talk to them too. So yeah. I'm so happy you come in at this because Alexa, next. Because it's probably so many people that feel the same way. But listen to this. Ashley and Josh, like they they don't trust nobody. Like they don't talk to nobody about stuff like this. Her family didn't know about it. Her real friends didn't know about it because obviously like I wasn't her real friend. Okay, now, do you think these people's lives were really at risk 
if Ashley know that I recorded her. If you were in her situation. Come on now, girl. Let's be honest. If you were in her situation. Okay, boom. You want to get rid of these people. But while you on FaceTime talking about getting rid of all these people, you talking about the amount of money you want for this person. You talking about the amount of money you want to give for this person and this person. You saying all of this and it's recorded, right? Now, once you get off the phone with this person and they send you a like three second clip of all of this stuff you saying, are you going to still do anything to these people? It ain't about no house, baby. It's about me. I'm on here talking because me... And my husband's name is constantly being brought up. I could have been said something about this house. Been said something about this house. Could have talked about this house in July when I found out about it. I was still cool with Ashley when I found out about this house. I was, I was just waiting on her to say something because I'm not the type of person to try to jump down your throat. Like, I want to see what you got to say about this. And try to see if we can come to a conclusion. But obviously we couldn't. I just knew some people was going to try to come in on here and make this into something that is not, it's not, it's nothing. That's why I wanted some people to know, like, they good, they safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, the FBI involved. Ashley called the FBI, like, the same week all this shit was going on. Like, this shit been going on, y'all. Like, when was the week? September the uh, 5th, 6th, 7th, whatever week that shit is. This when this shit was going on. This coming, it was like, bitch, you know, it wasn't nobody life at risk because she only was asking us because she felt like we was in the streets with the need this and that been in trouble for this and that so she just figured you know they'll do it uh, olivia my friend um her husband went to jail for this and he did and he did and she did and she did so i got some people that'll do it literally the only people that she knew that were remotely you know i'm so happy you come in at this because alexa next because it's probably so many people that feel the same way but listen to this Ashley and Josh, like, they, they don't trust nobody. Like, they don't talk to nobody about stuff like this. Her family didn't know about it. Her real friends didn't know about it because, obviously, like, I wasn't her real friend. Okay, now, do you think these people's lives were really at risk if Ashley know that I recorded her? If you were in her situation. Come on now, girl, let's be honest. If you were in her situation, okay, boom, you want to get rid of these people. But while you on FaceTime talking about getting rid of all of these people, you talking about the amount of money you want for this person. You talking about the amount of money you want to give for this person and this person. You saying all of this and it's recorded, right? Now, once you get off the phone with this person and they send you a like three second clip of all of this stuff you saying, are you going to still do anything to these people? It ain't about no house, baby. It's about me. I'm on here talking because me... And my husband's name is constantly being brought up. I could have been said something about this house. Been said something about this house. Could have talked about this house in July when I found out about it. I was still cool with Ashley when I found out about this house. I was, I was just waiting on her to say something because I'm not the type of person to try to jump down your throat. Like, I want to see what you got to say about this. And try to see if we can come to a conclusion. But obviously we couldn't. I just knew some people was going to try to come in on here and make this into something that is not, it's not, it's nothing. That's why I want some people to know, like, they good, they safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, the FBI involved. Ashley called the FBI, like, the same week all this shit was going on. Like, this shit been going on, y'all. Like, when was the week? September the uh, 5th, 6th, 7th, whatever week that shit is. This when this shit was going on. This coming, it was like, bitch, you know, it wasn't nobody life at risk because she only was asking us because she felt like we was in the streets with the need this and that been in trouble for this and that so she just figured you know they'll do it uh, olivia my friend um her husband went to jail for this and he did and he did and she did and she did so i got some people that'll do it literally the only people that she knew that were remotely you know